I'm on a 6,000 mile road trip exploring the Pacific coast with the goal of knocking out as many new species as possible from my kayak. And I'm catching fish like this. <laughs> yeah, I got color. Yeah! So come along as I fish both freshwater and salt and meet new kayak anglers along the way. What? This is Field Trips with Robert Field. Look at that! That was insane! So it looks like water is actually fog and there is actually an ocean under all those clouds. That's insane looking, man. Look at all that fog, man. That's nuts. We're gonna get lost in there. We'll try not to. <laughs> Alright guys, so today we're launching a different spot called Laughing Well and uh, we've got some fog as you can see. It was crazy looking at it from up above in the mountains. Uh, I've really never seen anything like that. It was just completely blanketed with fog. We're going to be careful today. We're going to use GPS, make sure we don't get lost and we're going to stick close to each other because uh, obviously this could be really disorienting. And if one of us gets bumped by a great white, we want to be able to find each other. <laughs> Today, my biggest goal is to get a red vermilion, so uh, we'll see. They also call them red rockfish. See if we can't make it happen. It's a sea otter just hanging out in the kelp. On. The gopher rockfish are still biting. Surprise, surprise. So the action's a little slower this morning, so uh, we're actually going to drop down this kind of tandem bait rig. Uh, they call it a dropper loop, and basically two whole squid on there. Drop this down. Hopefully, we can get a bite on this. Catch in the kelp. Nice. It's another gopher rockfish. Oh! That's something big, dude. Like that felt like the biggest fish I've caught since I've been here. Yeah. Oh no, now mine's in the kelp. Get up out of there. Nice. God. You don't have, you have grips? There's grips on you? I'll get him. Nice little wing. Too small to keep, but uh, fun fight. He slammed it. And then got wrapped around the kelp, almost came off. Fun fish, and they are just too cool. These crazy patterns. Fish are biting now. Something's got them turned on. Blue rockfish. Nice. Something else on feels like gopher. So small. That's a little blue, huh? A little blue rockfish. Looks like a bass, really, more than anything. Uh, we're definitely in a good little spot. We're all getting bit right here.
Another blue rockfish. Must be a little school of them down there. They're liking this squid though. These dropper loops are working. Nice. Yeah, dude, it's decent, whatever it is. It's a red. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> it's a red. Nice. <laughs> they have teeth? Can I lip it or do they have teeth? Nice. Woohoo! Ah, got what I came for. That is exactly what we came out here looking for. That is a red vermilion, a red rockfish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at the color on that guy. Man, he put up a good fight right when he hit. I was like, this is not a gopher. <laughs> solid, solid fish. Is that a decent size one? Three and a half, four pounder, John thinks. Uh, they definitely get bigger than this, but that was a fun fight. We were kind of losing hope out here. This morning started off slow, but I've only been out here a couple hours. And got what I was looking for. John, thank you, man. Persistence pays off. Yeah. Got the two fish I came out here to get. It's a good trip. Good trip. He's going on ice. I'm not letting this guy go. Too tasty. So Biche was money. What an incredible two days here in Northern California. Got my first lean cod, which is a fish I was really hoping to catch and then kind of clutch city here at the last couple hours out here in Leffingwell. I got my first red vermilion. Fun fighting fish and they both happen to be delicious. This is an awesome fishery and I will definitely be back. For now we're gonna go get in, get loaded up, and then it's time for me to head further north. This is a gutted rat. These are seagulls. <laughs> you can tell who the head honcho is. John? Thank you, brother. That was awesome, Robert. Great, Great two of days. days. Yeah, man. Uh, you've been an awesome host. Put me on fish. Put me up. Put up with me. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Easily done, man. My yeah. pleasure. It's been a lot of fun. Love to have you back anytime. I'll be back, great. dude. Was... On the next episode of Field Trips, I'm heading further north to Lodi, California, near Sacramento, to meet up with Dan Arbuckle of Headwaters Kayak. Yeah. What's up, Robert? What's going on, man? Good fun to meet you. Yeah, good to, good to have you. Welcome to California. We'll be switching things up a bit and fishing in the freshwater delta for largemouth bass and, if I'm lucky, some striper. Fun little fight. Fish out. Fish out and hit it right at the boat. A little bit better bass. Oh, yeah. Worst case, I'll, I'll hit a bank. You start drifting, getting lost out here. The other risk is you get real turned around and start heading towards Japan. Yeah, it's so disorienting, not just, you know, not being able to see where you're at, but also like time of day. Like, you know, it feels like morning just because it's, you know, still like kind of, there's just not much light that gets through, yeah. But we're here, in, it's noon. You never know it. It is clearing up though, pretty good behind us. And you can actually see uh, land now, it's nice. Oh man, I'm so mad that fish came off. It was one of those where I felt like I executed it. Great. It came off.
What was that? Oh. Oh man, that would have been killer. Just for the video. <laughs> Not for you, but. Not for me. Yeah. So she got all that stuff laying out. Yeah, you said that last night, man. You jinxed yourself. I'm never falling off offshore. Bloop. Yeah, I flipped in Panama, man. It was about this calm. Just being stupid.